Hello. Today we talk about something big. Huge. The vibe coding epidemic. It is all about coding with AI. It is a new sickness, or maybe a new power. Remember the good old days? You wrote code line by line. You thought hard. You were a master of your craft. Now we have new friends. Open AI and Tropic Google. They help us write code. I love code. At first, it was just small things. Autocomplete was good. It saved a few key presses. Then came bigger things. Fixing typos, making small functions. Like a helpful little robot friend. Then we got lazy. We asked AI to write whole parts of code. Just tell it what you want. It gives you the answer. No need to think hard. No need to know how it works. Just copy and paste. This is vibe coding. You don't understand the code. You just feel it. If it looks right, it's right, right? It compiles, so it's fine. It feels good, so it is good. Soon, your code base looks like a strange puzzle. Pieces from everywhere. Some parts are yours, some are AI. You barely recognize it. Like a ship built by a committee of aliens. Each part is different, but somehow it floats. The boss asks about the code. You say, it's fine, the AI did it. You feel smart, but also empty. It works, maybe, but you don't know how. And you especially don't know why. Then, the problem start. A bug appears. A small bug at first. Like a tiny ant inside your computer. You try to fix it, but you didn't write the code. You ask the AI, why did you do this? The AI says, I followed your instructions. You realize your instructions were bad. Or the AI made a choice you don't understand. It's like a bad game of telephone. Debugging becomes a nightmare. You didn't understand the original code. Now you need to fix a problem in it. It's like being a detective in a language you don't speak, with weird clues written by a robot. Good luck figuring it out. You finally fix one bug, but three more appear. It's like playing whack-a-mole. Every fix breaks something else. The code base is a house of cards. One wrong move, and it all falls down. Your boss is mad. Deadlines are missed. Clients are angry. The great AI help became a great AI burden. The dream of easy coding crumbles, replaced by the reality of endless debugging. Your skills start to fade. You can't write simple code anymore. You rely on AI for everything, like a fish forgetting how to swim, or a bird forgetting how to fly. You become an AI whisperer, not a code master. The programming community notices. New hires can't solve basic problems. They just open chat GPT. They don't know the fundamentals, like asking a calculator to do 2 plus 2. They can't even count anymore. The senior developers sigh. They saw this coming. They tried to warn us, but the siren song of easy code was too strong. Now, they clean up the mess. They are the true heroes. So, what is the lesson? AI is a tool, not a replacement. Use it to help you, not to think for you. Understand what you're doing. Know your code line by line, or you will fall into the vibe coding trap. Don't let the AI make your brain solve. Keep practicing and keep learning. Stay sharp, stay smart. Be the master of the code, not just a silent ghost, copying and pasting. Be a true coding wizard, not a vibe coder. Use AI to enhance your your power, not to steal it. It's like a magic potion, useful in small doses, but too much, and it makes you weak. Find balance, always. So, when you open your AI chatbot for code, think twice. Ask yourself, do I really understand this, or am I just generating vibes? The future of your code base depends on it, and your sanity too. May your code be clean, may your bugs be few, and may your understanding be deep. Stay sharp as tough, stay human.